Okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the next event partner training session, the Judging and the Judge Award. Um, I, I think basically, uh, generally, this part is a little bit boring. I hope you will not fall in sleep. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just uh, feel free to ask any questions if you if you you if you are you don't understand the process or the awards. Okay, okay, so let's go. One second. Okay, so the contents of this session, uh, I'll go over the uh, judge role and the reason we are doing judging and the judge awards and the uh, normal awards in the VEX competition and then the judging process rubrics and, and some resources on the on our website. The, after that, we will do some Q&A session. Okay, so the first one uh, about the judging role, about the judge role. So actually for the judge, for the judges, uh, we do have a, a little bit different to, uh, between judge advisor and judges. So normally, if you can, if you are uh, a judge advisor, you should be uh, working with all the judges and uh, organize and oversee the judging process, and also assign or train all the judges and ensure the whole judging process is in in compliance with it, our judge guide, and also protect the confidentiality of the judge process. So for the judges, for the normal judges, um, if you do have some experience, that will be good, great. But if you don't have any experience before, that's also okay. We can train the judges before they uh, uh, before they are doing the job. Uh, and but it's better for the people who had some uh, background related background like engineering, uh, like uh, programming or um, as uh, how, how can I say uh, structure or something like that, uh, so they can uh, easily understand the students, and also they can uh, they can evaluate very uh, very quick to uh, very quick and and know which what kind of robot is good great, what kind of robot uh, is not so great and what kind of uh, information that the students can share with the judges. Um, so if you would like to invite some uh, teachers or some uh, professors from university, that's also great because normally we, we feel, we think, or we assume or the professors are very fair to every team. Uh, and also, when you invite the the judges, please make sure they are they have no relationship with all the participant teams. So that's the judge role. And why we are doing judging? Because in the VEX competition, we normally use judging to recognize and celebrate the team, uh, what the teams learned and performed during our competition. And also, some judge awards can qualify team can qualify teams to the higher level of the competition, like uh, qualify teams from the local competition to a national one, uh, or from a national events to the VEX world. So uh, the judge award is very important in VEX competition. Uh, we can I will introduce in detail later, and also. Uh, through the judging process, the team, the teams, and the students can practice their written skills, like because they need time to re to uh, record their engineering notebook and record the whole and design process in the notebook. And also, the teams need to communicate with the judges to share their. Um, the, uh, the their sparkle their sparkle uh, in the in their de uh, design process and to show their performance or their sportsmanship to the judges 
and also、uh, through the judging, the judges will show to the teams the REC Foundation、uh, values like code of conduct, like student-centered policies. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So, what is the code of conduct? Why we are so valuable to this one?、Uh, because in the、uh, the REC Foundation considers the positive, respective, and is um is essential conduct of all students.、Uh, of course. Including teachers, mentors, and parents, and also the other event attendees, because we think the、uh, environment around the students will、uh, lead the students to a uh, will uh, will have the opportunity to infect all the students in the grow development or growing. And also, we expect this listed behavior, and、uh, so we are asking all the students, the teams, the adults related to the teams, to behave、uh, based on this code of conduct. And also. Uh, not only the teams, but also to all these event event staff and、uh, uh, yeah, including judges like the event volunteers. Okay, I will not go over every detail of this code of conduct. You can consider as a、um, direction、uh, that the REC would like the the students to learn from. Okay, and then this was this is the student centered, the student centered policy made by the REC Foundation actually have two different components. The first one is the student centered learning, because we would like the students to learn、uh, through our program, and. If the students can actively actively involved in learning to increase their knowledge and skills under the guidance of the adult mentorship, that will be great. You know, students is always students. They still need to learn, and they need the uh the the ad adults to give them some um、uh, guidance. And the second one is student-centered application. And the student-centered application, actually,、uh, we、uh, we would we want the students to involve in the building of the robot, programming of the robot, and the usage of the robot, which include. The strategy, the competition strategy, the students, and should make all the decisions, but not the adults. So of course,、um, for the for the new teams or rookie teams,、um, some proper、uh, adults mentoring or guidance are okay, but we still need、uh, we still need to make sure all the decisions.、Uh, From the from design to competition should be made by the students. Okay, so、uh, in VEX competition, we normally will provide two different types of awards. The first one is performance award, and that's that's a award based on the robot performance on the competition field in 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 every event. Uh, such as、uh, teamwork or tournament champion,、uh, robot skills champion. So judges do not determine the performance award. And what the judges will do is the judge the award. So normally we have excellence award, design award, 
and some technical uh, judge award or some other judge awards. And the judges award will be will be conducted by uh, will be concluded by the judges during the competition. And then um, in in the different competitions, uh, the number of the judge awards may vary. Uh, but typically, it will still include excellence award, design award, and some of the judge uh, technical judge awards. That's actually based on the event partner uh, process. Okay. So uh, let's go to the judging process. So normally in the event, the judging process is uh, well divided into four steps. The first step is engineering notebook judging. And the second one is team interview and perform performance observation. And the third one is deliberations and then uh, uh, giving some awards. So how to do this process? So the first one we need to know is the engineer notebook rubric. So let's take a look at this rubric. Uh, this rubric is actually a very useful tool for the judges for using uh, to use this um, rubric uh, to evaluate the engineer notebooks and identifying the outsiding, uh, outstanding engineer notebook. So how can we use it? So through this uh, photo on this on the right, uh, let me see my pen. Where's my pen? Oh, here. This is the whole engineer notebook rubric, and I uh, cut some important notice here in these two, these three parts. So the first one for our for using our engineer notebook is to know. We have uh, divided the, uh, each criteria into three different uh, levels. The expert will get f four to five points, and the medium will get two to three points, and the developing will get zero to one point. And in this engineer notebook, uh, engineer notebook rubric, there are two different types of criteria, totally uh, nine. The top six, the top six is actually the engineering design process. So for the students, they will need to record the engineering notebook process in very, very detail. So how can we say, how, whether it's detail or not, we will need to, uh, all the judges will read the engineer notebook and use this criteria to see uh, which team required more information and which team required a little bit less. And then the next one, is actually the usefulness and uh, uh, project management and notebook construction. So that's the uh, that's another that's the more information from the uh, um, from the teams will provide. Okay, so uh, normally when we receive a lot of engineer notebook at the event. Uh, the judges will do a, for, a very quick scan of all this engineer notebook and just to simply divide them into two categories. The first one is uh, developing and the other one is fully developed. Just a bit depends on the first sign, first uh, sign of this uh, engineer notebook. And then uh, each uh, the judges will uh, read each notebook and give the values to each team to every team. 
Okay, so um, uh, this is a outstanding engineer notebook information. So um, I took some photos from a uh, VexIQ team who won the excellence award in our previous event. So in general, a outstanding notebook should contain some information like uh, contents, signature, team meeting, uh, meeting minutes, brainstorm sessions, and some sketch, sketches, pictures, or some descriptions. Of course, the, the very detailed design and design process. And after the design process, teams need to show the test results and uh, the redo process. And also, uh, the teams need to record the team organization pra practices, project management, and some uh, notes or uh, observation, or and also their programming. So, um, why we need the teams to do so such detailed uh, recording? Because we we know the teams can learn from that, like the brainstorm. Every team, every team member will show uh, their uh, his or her thoughts uh, when they uh, look at the, the game, the challenge. Everybody must have a different uh, different way to, uh, to, resolve, to resolve the challenge. So through this discussion, all the teams can learn from each other. And also, we need the teams to we need the team members to uh, always discuss and talk each, talk to each other to communi uh, for a better communication for better communication skills and also through this uh, competition we we can consider this whole process like a big project so we also would like the students to learn the project management including uh, the usage of personal, financial, and timing. So all these notes and observations from uh, some competitions can be considered into the next design. And also, uh, you, the students can record all these programming changes, and they can get more and more uh, experience through this changing or testing or redo. Okay, so in a word, an outstanding notebook should be recorded with every detail, every change from the beginning of the robot design and building and testing. So um, if a person who has no idea about how to build a robot they can uh, build they can actually they can finally build a robot a similar robot by looking at the, their engineer notebook and recreate the whole robot design process so that's the outstanding engineer notebook yeah of course if we are looking at a viqc uh, engineer notebook it won't be as the, as the good as a uh, VRC or VEXU engineer notebook because all the students are still learning. This is a, very, a continuously learning uh, process. And then the next one is the team interview rubric. The judges will use this rubric to uh, for all the teams interview. So uh, it's Crystal, um, yeah. do you mind if I have some um, a bit of a few questions regarding the, mm -hmm. the notebook first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. no problem. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I, I already um, read about the notebook judging uh, process mm -hmm. uh, online and um, mm -hmm. I have also participated in uh, a few um, kind of uh, informal uh, coaching sessions on, on how people judge the notebooks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I get the spirit of it. Um, 
what I want to ask is first of all, um, for 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 national and regional competition, do we require that all notebooks are in English, or or do we allow uh, national uh, teams in 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 the country uh, to to use their local language? Yes, using the uh, native uh, language is okay, but mm. if you would like to. Uh, have some more opportunities to win some award as a VEX world. It's better for the teams to prepare a English translation. Mm. You know, when we go to the VEX worlds, most of the uh, judges are actually uh, American. So uh, if you wanted to gain some uh, advantage or not gain an advantage, if you would like to show uh, the whole team of you, uh, so uh, it's better to use English as um, as a better uh, communication way. But mm. in your in your country, in the, in your national or some uh, small qualification events, it's okay to use your na native language. Okay. In yep. so, yeah, so in, I understand in that. Always, yeah, especially for the younger students, like the. Uh, elementary students, they cannot use English very well. Mm. So they, they can still use uh, uh, their uh, native speaking and the native uh, language. And uh, I know some teams, they, uh, they ask the parents to do some translation for them when, it, when they qualify to, to VEX World. I see. Okay, so the, the, that is acceptable as well, uh, as yes. long as the translation is is, is correct. No, is normally, not, no. Yeah, normally it's okay because uh, you know uh, even in the VEX world, we still lack of uh, interpreter. I see. No. Okay, I understand. Yeah. So it, when you when you submit the and new notebook, it's better to uh, attach this English verse translation. And also read and uh, read a note on the uh, English version, and uh, to, to show this is just a translation, so uh, to help the other judges to understand. Mm, mm. Understood. Yeah. So yes. my second question regarding the notebook is um, is is a bit nuanced. So. Um, uh, what I have observed is that uh, some some teams uh, seem to have created a a great notebook by mm -hmm. assigning uh, the best writer on the team to to be the scribe to be the note taker and 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 deliberately construct a very elaborate notebook, right? Mm -hmm. But but so so it is it is a great experience for the person assigned to do that, right? Uh, and it's also mm -hmm. a, a very consistent presentation on behalf of the team. Uh, but my reservation about that is that it, it doesn't really represent the learning of the uh, of the typical team member, right? It's, it's like the it, it captures the experience of the best team member or the best writing team member. Um, so, so in, in in terms of judging a notebook, uh, is there a way to tell, uh, or, or should we should we discern whether the, the notebook is a one person's work or is a, a a mix of 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 every team member's uh, contribution it, it should be the every member's contribution uh, let me go back to the engineer notebook rubric mm. from here you can see we have a record of team and project management so it need to show to the judges, then every team member is working on the whole process, not only the engineer notebook. Yeah. Mm. So when you set up a team, um, you can actually uh, include recruit many uh, several team members, um, and choose one of them as a main engineer notebook manager, but and assign the others to do some uh, small or some uh, tight or tiny uh, engineer notebook tasks. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. So you can have one manager 
uh, to coordinate. Mm -hmm. But but uh, but yes. other team members, each 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 person has to write as well, right? Has to write, have to draw, have to you know contribute some notes. Am I correct? Yeah. Yes, it's mm -hmm. better for everybody to involve in every uh, process. So, but there's one coordinator that's better because you know um, if we think if we consider this team as a company, we can separate them into different department, and each department will have a leader, and then mm -hmm. we have some uh, workmates. But every team will uh, need to coordinate or communicate with each other, and there's some time we uh just a bro uh, just a break the the line between each between different departments we we uh, we reorganize them as a project team so Understood. that's why okay. yeah we, need, we, we we would like every team members to get involved in every process so that they can learn everything Okay. Yeah, I I think that we will let let we will take note of that. Uh, mm -hmm. and so we we have um maybe we maybe we need to communicate that that point a bit more clearly to our own own audience uh, because it's mm -hmm. it's not all. I don't think it's well understood that way. It, it's mm -hmm. I think the basic understanding uh, in Vietnam right now is that um, a team need to keep a notebook. Uh, and and better keep it well, but maybe mm -hmm. they they don't really um, understand that everybody need to really contribute to that notebook and not just uh, one 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 person with a great handwriting, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I always uh, talk with the coaches or the teachers to consider the whole competition process as a project process. Mm. So. Every part is one of the project in this long uh, schedule. So it's better uh, when you rec recruit the team members, just to consider everybody's skill and make, yeah, but still uh, tell all, tell the teams to participate in every, every pr process. Although maybe they are not so interesting, uh, not so interested in, yeah like writing like uh constru notebook construction but still then this they, they need to practice that kind of skills understood yeah. yep yeah it. and it's better for the for the teams to have a a student than uh with a very good handwriting you know all the teachers <laughs> need to read a lot of the engineer notebook if the handwriting is so bad um maybe the judges will cannot read this very very carefully or uh very in very detail so <laughs> okay understood yeah. yeah okay yeah i think that is great it's great to clarify this one is it's not so clear cut so great thank you for the clarification so yeah, um, no problem. and any mm -hmm. any questions uh Tien and enjoy before we move on to the uh, uh the interview yeah, I have one question. Like, uh, if the judge can see in the engineering notebook that all team members are uh, engaged uh, in the engineering design process, so we the judge will give them higher score on the topic record of team and project management or in some other topic. Uh, the judges will uh, give different numbers according to the team's uh, information. You, you know. Uh, we have different criteria. We have nine criteria. So uh, this recording and project management or uh, team contribution is actually one of them. And, awesome. uh, and the judges will evaluate all the teams, all the engineer notebooks, and separate and and just to choose uh, how many. Uh, some some teams are the topest. Some teams are the medium, and some teams are just the uh, beginners. So if the if the team is really good at if it, it, it is really good in this event, they can receive uh, yeah 
top up to five points for this for this criteria. Yeah, so like for for team that like have all members engage in uh, writing the engineer book, like do they have mm -hmm. bonus point compared to the team who only have one member writing in the notebook? Uh, it's really depends on the information you the and the team recorded in the engineer notebook. If if it shows that every team member is contributed. So normally they can get a little bit higher uh, points than they than only one team member record the engineer notebook. Okay, yeah. But it, it, still, it still depends on the the whole the general level uh, of the teams in this in the in in a certain event. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Crystal. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Any questions? I think I'm good for now. We can move to the next one. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to the team interview rubric. So the team interview rubric is similar to the notebook rubric, and there are several different criteria, and each criteria can uh, can get uh, up to five points. Uh, and then uh, all these judges will do the interview in the team speed area. This is a little bit different to other uh, competition. We, we always ask the judges to interview the teams uh, in, the, in their pit area. Do you know what is pit area? Uh, the, the pit area is actually the uh, team's table or the team's area that they can, they can take a rest and they can um, uh, fix their robot. So in the in the pit area, the teams are very relaxed. So they can answer the question. They can answer some questions in very relaxed. Uh, uh, how can I say? They can they can easily answer any questions in, because they are they are really relaxed. So normally we don't recommend the judges to 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 do the interview in a in a room with only uh, maybe one, two or three judges, but, sev but only several team members. Uh, it, it will make the students very stressful when they're doing the interview. So, <laughs> so and also uh, all this interview should be conducted uh, before the, uh, uh, the final matches. And we uh, we would like these judges to do um, an interview for every team in this in this event, especially the teams who submitted the engineer notebook. And also, as a judge, you need to make a very good plan and and uh, uh, interview schedule because there are a lot of teams in this event. If you spend uh, 30 minutes for one team, you cannot finish all this e team interview. So normally we recommend um, for each team uh, spend five to 10 minutes for the interview. If you uh, if you are uh, interviewing a very a, a team who received a very high uh, engineer notebook uh, score, you can spend a little more um, uh, timing uh, for this event, for this team, but still you need to stay on the schedule because it's very important to ensure all teams are interviewed. And there's a tape uh, when you interview the teams. Take notes during the interview, and. Um, and do some of observation to support your evaluation. And also uh, this, and this note and observation, 
will assist with the deliberations later. And also, uh, immediately require a ranked all the teams using this award scoring or ranking sheet right after the interview for each team, or maybe after three teams. So, because if you uh, interviewed a lot of team, you may not remember every team. Okay. Okay. So, any questions uh, before we go to the deliberations? I have I have some question. Like uh, first, um, should just record uh, the yeah. interview with the team. Mm, like they, no, yeah, we, do, we do recording. We do don't do uh, video recording when we do the interview. So uh, the the judges can do can write down some notes. Um, and also some some uh, judges can, will take some photos of the ro uh, the robot. That's allowed. Okay, but like, can they make mm. uh, audio record like in case um in case they the other just may want to like evaluate some information from the team interview? Mm, normally we don't recommend that. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. thank you. And one more question is like uh, who uh, who will uh, schedule the interviews for the teams? But, uh, the judge advisor or uh event partner um the judge advisor the judge advisor will monitoring all this uh, judging process and all this engineer uh interview process should be uh conducted before the final matches so the event partner actually will provide the timing to the judge advisor and judge advisor make a schedule for every every judges. Okay, thank you, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So that, that, I mm -hmm. have one last question. Does it mean that the judge advisor um don't need to do like the just work like interviewing or grading the engineering notebook, or they just do the same? They are doing the same uh, same work. So actually, the judge or the advisor uh, is just a a judge with more experiences. Okay, like we have, mm -hmm. like uh, let's say forty eight teams joining the competition this year, and we mm -hmm. have eight judges in total. So uh, mm -hmm. we trying to schedule one judge will be in charge of six teams on average. So we won't have the situation in which like two or three judges. Gonna like gonna interviewing the same team, so it won't have pressures for the students. Mm -hmm. Yes, normally we uh, recommend at least two judges to do the interview at the same time to interview one team, because you know uh, we don't recommend we do, we don't allow only one judge to interview the teams. Oh, okay. So that means we have to divide the the judges into like different groups, and they can work together as a teamwork. To grant okay. why they doing the interviewing. Um, and mm -hmm. how about the grading? Like, they do that at the same time, or one judge can grade several teams. Uh, normally for a very uh, for a small events like uh less than fifty or sixty teams attend. Uh, we uh, for each grade level, we will have uh, uh, two judges, so that to make sure all the teams are interviewed with the same group of judges, so the, you don't need to worry about the grading. So uh, if you do have uh, when I when I say grade level, I say uh, elementary and middle school. That's two different grade level. So, yeah. So when you when you uh doing your event uh at the beginning, I think we don't have a lot of teams, right? So, uh, um, let's say if we have sixteen uh, elementary teams, uh, two judges will interview the elementary teams. If we have twenty uh middle school teams, 
And then another two judges will interview all these middle middle teams, middle school teams. Okay. Okay. How about grading mm -hmm. the engineering notebook? Like, do they do? Do they need to like does that same judges do uh, like two people interviewing eight team, and then two people when that two people will grade the engineering notebook? Uh, normally, we don't recommend that because. A uh, different person will give different uh, gray uh, the point, so the the point will will change a lot. Uh, so we when we say uh, two, one group of judges, like two or three judges, uh, will do uh, the whole uh, process, including engineer notebook, uh, uh, in engineer notebook interview, uh, deliberations, and awarding. But uh, after the uh, first first uh, let's say interview for every grade level, uh, the judge or advisor can um, can ask the different groups, uh, different judges groups, to cross interview the top eight teams to make sure the all uh, the, the the top teams are actually uh, be interviewed by different person. So every different person thinks the, the one team is very good. Then, so then uh, it shows this team is really good. Okay, I, I see. Thank you. Okay. So any more questions? Um, okay. So, mm, yeah. I I I have one question. Like it's about the tips. So um are there any tips like to recognize if students do on the engineering process on their own or they were or uh, they were like adults involving in the process like the interview tips or like some tips when evaluate uh engineering notebook uh i didn't catch you can you repeat it like uh can you share with me some tips to recognize if students like they do on the engineering process on their own or some or are there some others uh, adults involving in the process oh um let me show let me give you some uh some examples that i faced in the previous seasons um we always see some we all at the beginning we uh we always see or read some notebooks like uh, uh, they are from the same organization or from the organization nearby um, in the city. So all the teams are using the same photos or the same sketches to, to record in the in the engineer notebook. Um, and also, they, uh, I, uh, I remember in the past years, uh, I interviewed two teams. One team is using Chinese and the other team is using English. And the English is exactly the Chinese translation. So that's actually not the uh, the core the, the core value we would like to recommend recognize you know we we are hoping every team is doing their own job although they will discuss internally within the whole organization but uh the the actual recording process is actually based on the different uh, team members so they all the all this no and new notebook from the same organization should be different. So I understand. And also, uh, I've I've seen some the engineer notebooks and uh, through the formatting or the handwriting, we can tell we can easily tell it it was recorded by the adults. You know. As a very young students or younger students, their handwriting should not be very nice. 
So some uh, some adults are uh, helping them actually no not helping them at uh, actually taking their jobs. So that's not so that's not good. And also, uh, you can check the programming recorded in the engineer notebook. If you can see the programming, the the coding are the diff, uh, are the same in different teams. So th then you can easily tell this program was made by the by the adults. So that's that, my that, that's a that's a very good point. Um, yes. In fact, I have um, I have participated uh, in in my kids. Um, uh, junior robotics um, competitions uh, or festi so-called festivals before and mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the things that the, the the judges check for is whether the code is dirty mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like okay if, if the code is dirty it is real it's really done by by the kids right if, if, yeah. the, if the code is too clean then uh, yeah they 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 as a rule of thumb they they wouldn't consider that team uh, for the for the code select let's say the coding award so i think this is an yes, excellent point. yes it, it, it cannot be too clean right and and the other way because uh it's a real sign of uh adult involvement e even even adult um uh direction for for cleaning up is also not that mm -hmm. fair correct um, some 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 adults are really uh, you, you, they they don't do the work, but they kind of insist uh, that that their kids uh, sort of overly clean up and uh, sort of artificially. Mm -hmm. So it's like okay, the, the 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 hands and legs are by the kids, but but actually the 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 direction and the instruction is very strongly provided by the adult. Which is also not not that good. Yeah, I think um, especially for the younger students, uh, some proper guidance is okay, like mm. uh, how to organize all the materials and how to construct your uh, engineer notebook format or the uh, structure. If the adults insist to the students to do uh, such kind of uh, work and um, normally it's okay uh, because this is still a learning process mm. but i don't recommend all the, the adults to do everything for the for the uh, students like uh, typing in and record handwriting um yeah something like that mm -hmm. yeah but for the VRC or middle school or high school team members, uh, I think uh, less less adults uh, cooperation will be better. <laughs> yeah. You know. So I have I have a, a separate uh, I have a related question, but um, mm -hmm. uh, let, let 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 me phrase it like this. So. Most of the time, if uh, if judges just follow these rubrics, uh, they 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 would uh, do well and uh, and and judge uh, quite okay for most cases. But could you share with us some uh, controversial cases you you have seen in the past? Right? What 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 difficult decisions um, have you have you seen? Uh, and, uh that that were made by by certain judges right so what 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 cases are difficult to judge uh actually i think the most difficult thing for the judges is to uh to to make sure who will win the top awards because you know in one event we have only one excellence award in the in the event and who will take this crown is very difficult for the judges and there there are always some uh discussion 
when they when they are coming uh, coming out with the excellence award attend uh, uh, Kennedy. So, uh, especially when we do in some high levels events like national, uh, you know, in the national, there are always some very uh, some uh, experienced teams. Their mm. engineer notebooks are almost the same level, and the qualifier match score are almost equal to each other. So that's very difficult for the judges to to do the final decision. Mm. How Actually, much time is needed for for this kind of discussion? Uh, so in order to be very sure and 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 um and, and make to 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 be very happy with the final decision uh, and assume that uh, we we have a panel of uh, several judges um how how long do you recommend that we we allow the judges to deliberate or discuss 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes um it really depends on how long the events will last uh, like some national events in in China, uh, each grade level will uh, always we always have uh, around one hundred teams. So this event will last at least two or three days. So uh, all the qualification matches will be conducted will be made uh, in the f first two days. And then the uh, in the morning of the third day, uh, they will do the final matches. So all this judging process and awarding process should be done before this final matches close closure. So it's really uh, two around two days for all the judging to do the interview and design notebook. Uh, normally, we recommend the judges uh, to to read all engineer notebook in the first half day and then do interview from the uh, in the afternoon of the first day and then uh, almost a whole day for the rest of the teams and mm. so uh, normally uh, all the all the judges can complete the uh, interview uh before the around uh, in the afternoon of the second day so uh they will spend one or two hours to discuss but actually i think normally one hour is enough one hour is enough only yeah. assuming that everybody in the panel has done the homework am i correct uh, so yes. every person must have uh, read through the engineering notebooks, do do the and basic due diligence on on the team members, right? And and they yes. they must be very ready to to discuss the the evidence. They they yes. cannot go into that one hour of discussion and and only start doing the the, the analysis then, correct? Yes. Mm. So the, all the teams, all the judges should should done all this judging interview um, before they go to the deliberations, the discussions. And and in yeah. your experience, is this something that is happening in parallel to the the, the matches? Right. So so when um, do, do I imagine correctly that uh, uh, on, on let's say on the first day teams arrive, they, they submit their notebooks uh, into let's say this area and then they go and do the the matches in that area and then mm -hmm. in uh, while they are competing on the on the fields um the, the judging team will start working on the side am i correct yes yes so I all understand. the judging process um, uh, it will be done uh, at the same time of the qualification matches so uh before you, you interview the team, you need to ask whether they are available in 10 or 15 minutes. If they are 
easy to go to the uh, matches. That's okay. We you can reschedule this interview with them. Ah, uh, um, one one uh one one question that I have is uh, do do all the judges have to be there in person, or can I judge from America? Let's say, can I receive the materials over here and then participate on in 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 the judging? Let's say from. Uh, from America, from 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 overseas, like this, or I have to mm -hmm. be in the in in like in a room with other judges, like, like there. It's better to be in person because, uh, you know, uh, face to face communication will be very effective, and if if all the events are in person events. So we would ask, we would recommend the, all the judges to do in-person interview with all the teams. But uh, if we are, you are hosting a online competition, uh, it's a, it's okay to do some online judging process. Understood. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah. We 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 um. Uh, we are actually quite happy with the calibers of the judges that we are inviting. They are all professionals, real robotics professionals. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them are professors in, in the UK, US. Uh, some of them are practicing entrepreneurs in this field. So experience-wise, uh, they, they, they should be more than sufficient. But they, I think what we need to spend time preparing them is this uh, judging process right what to look out for and mm -hmm. and and uh, how to consistently uh, evaluate these tips so this these considerations are very uh, very important yeah so thanks for thanks for uh, emphasizing this for us yeah no problem uh, if you do have some uh, judges out uh, in America um, you, uh, still so, can, you still can do the uh, the online judging, but uh, you need to make sure every team has a parent or adult's uh, companion with them. Because normally we don't we don't want we don't allow the only team members to talk with adults through the uh, through. Uh, some uh, through the internet. Oh, is that is is that a rule of to to protect some uh, some yeah, something? Yeah, protect the younger younger uh, younger students. I think um, it's always it, it, it was stated in the uh, in the uh, online competitions. Um, yes, in, in the online competition in the previous season, because in, in last two seasons, we do have a lot of online competitions. So it, it was stated very clearly that every team member, the team members should accompany by adults when they are doing the uh, online uh, competition or judging. Understood. Yeah, we'll, we'll take note of that. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. But still, I, I, I would highly recommend to do some in-person uh, judging because when, when the students, you, you can feel from, you can uh, stand in the student's shoe. Uh, if you are talking with a computer, that's a very different or strange experience. Oh, sure. No, no, I, I want to clarify. Um, most of the judges, uh, if not all, in in our case, will be in 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 the event. Uh, mm -hmm. So so any remote judges will be um, extras or exceptions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. example, I'm I'm super involved in 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 uh, creating this uh, first uh, um, uh, first uh, tournament in Vietnam and. Uh, we we may want I, I may want to um, see you know what's what's the real 
quality of of these teams uh, that we are having in the first iteration so um, mm -hmm. if possible i i may also want to participate in in in, in the judging process but but mm -hmm. not 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 um I, i'm just at the the um the extra team member the main judges are mostly in in vietnam already as a main mm -hmm. panel yeah yeah so i'm, I'm not yeah. i'm not asking this about the remote judging as a as as the the main mode is is more like a extra yeah. yeah okay okay so any more questions mm. no any, more questions um mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe the one last question um okay any circumstances where there has been penalties or disqualifications that are that have to be decided um, to eliminate some teams or penalize some teams any such um, um controversial seas in the past mm, it's uh i think it depends on uh the information you you provide to this to the teams before the event and uh, mm. for example in china we we always do some programming testing before uh, in the in the big event like national event because we want to make sure the awarding the the uh, the teams who win the award especially the judged awards are actually student centered. Mm. So so if, so if we find that somebody violates the the, the the code of conduct let's say mm -hmm. but we only find that out in the in the late later phases of the competition then how mm -hmm. do we how do we get them out uh if you find it this uh, if you do have some evidence then then you can make sure uh, it can surely shows the team is valid some code of conduct or some uh, game rules you can you can uh, delete this team from the final matches mm. so um, I will I will uh, introduce how to process with the uh, software uh, in next uh, next Monday but um, before all this uh, awards all these awards are made. You can do um, you can do your uh, research. You can do your uh, observation. But after that, when you have already concluded conduct to conclude to a award, uh, it's it's very hard to change it, especially the performance the awards. But for the judged awards, if you do uh, find this uh, concrete evidence before the awarding, you can always change it. But still, you need to provide evidence to all the judges and, and prepare if some students, if the students or the, the teams would ask you for the reason. If, uh, especially for the performance for the performance award so like uh, uh one team won the teamwork champion in the finals but finally you find it they are they 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 evaluate some uh rules like evaluate the uh evaluate the uh, code of conduct so you need to prepare every evidence. Otherwise, you will be challenged. Understood. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll not get there, but uh, we will prepare some some process just, just in case. Yeah. Um, before the event, uh, I can recommend um, then you can send out some uh, notice, like uh, if you plan to do some uh, program testing during the event, uh, what kind of protest, what kind of program testing, uh, what kind of program you you may uh, you may test, 
something like that, something uh, probably a little bit detailed for the teams to understand. So if you have already this, uh, sent out such uh, announcement, the students can, uh, in, the, in the event or the team still validate the, uh, such information or validate such rules, you can use that as evidence and also, of course, the, and uh, with some uh, actual evidence, you can disqualify them. But, you know, disqualification is very uh, strict. So you need to make the decision very carefully and make sure every evidence can show, uh, can, uh, can help you to make the final decision. If, if you don't think the ev evidence are uh, very concrete, uh, it's better don't do that. And you can give them some warning. You can give them some, uh, yeah, like warning, like dis disablement, but disqualification uh, is very rare, you know. Understood. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy now. I, I think a lot of these uh, harder <laughs> questions are very well yeah. clarified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tien, enjoy any, uh, any uh, other things you. Uh, you would like to understand? Uh, I think that's enough for me. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay. Thank you, Crystal, okay. for your great advice. Mm -hmm. No problem. That's, that's only my experiences. <laughs> okay, mm. so let's go to the uh, discussion, deliberations. So, uh, so all the deliberations should begin during the last round of qualification matches uh, and conclude before the first round of uh, the final matches, like the first round of VRC final match or before the VR, VIQC final matches. So if you are, uh, if the judges are just a little bit late, that's okay. But at least you need to conclude all these awards you need to come out with all these awards before the ceremony. So that's the last point for our judging process. So, but normally I would recommend all the judges can do this, all the work as early as they can and, uh, and, start, and tie it with their schedule. Okay, so... Uh, and when you do the discussion, uh, you need some supporting materials like the qualifier match ranking, skills ranking, and some field notes from the head referee. So through these materials, you can easily to uh, make the final decision who will win the excellence award and then who will win the other awards. Uh, like, like we talked just now, if some teams are, if some teams just violate some code of conduct uh, during the competition, the head referee will take some notes and give this notes to the judges, and the judges can can use that to to do their uh, discussion. If the if the team is really not so good for winning a, a judge awards then you can, you can choose another team. Um, so, and when you do the uh, final awarding discussion, you can use the, uh, you, you can refer to the photo I took in this slide and type and post every candidate and see which one can win which award. So that's actually a very good process for all the judges to, to do their final decision. So normally in the judge in the judge room, in the judging room, uh, the event partner will provide a whiteboard, uh, some uh, post-it notes uh, for the judges to use. And um, so every judges 
should work uh, together to make the final decision. Uh, do remember, only one judge should not make the final decision. So at least two of them or the, the whole group judges can make the, uh, the, the same decision. So that's uh, we want uh, every award is was made by um, fairly. So and also at that time during the deliberation, the judge or advisor should always attend, should always ob observe or uh, involve in the discussion. When um, if some if some judges or the two judges judges cannot make this the same conclusion for the uh, award for the award attend uh, candidate, the judge or advisor will give them some advices or make the final decision. So that's why we need the judge or advisor uh, should be experienced. Okay, so um, this is a discussion before the awarding. So any questions? Okay, no questions. Let's go to the awarding process. So all these uh, judges will complete the ranking of the design note uh, and uh, uh, the design award rubrics based on the engineer notebook rubric and teamwork uh, team interval rubric. So the top the top teams of this design award rubric should be considered as a candidate for the excellence award. This is the first uh, criteria. And if this team is very, uh, is top in the qualifying ranking, like uh, the team uh, ranked in the top five or top 10 or top 30 of the teams, so you will choose which uh, which one, which number is the is the larger one. This team uh, can be so. This team is uh, qualified to the uh, is eligible for this excellence award. And meanwhile, if the team is also the top in the top team in the robot skills ranking, then give them more bonus for for uh, winning the excellence award and also if the team is um, can demonstrate very high quality interview and they can show very high quality programming and of course this this team is student centered and good sportsmanship and very uh, good professional this team can uh, will be this team is eligible for the excel, excellence awards. So in general, all these awards, the excellence awards is the topest one and the first one who the, which the judges will conduct will conclude. And all these judges need to use their best qualitative judgment based on the observation or uh, interaction with all the teams to choose the best team through this event. Okay, so uh, when, you, when you conclude to the Excellence Award winner, we can go to the Design Award Award winner. And normally the design award winner is the design award is presented to a team that uh, can demonstrate the a, a very good uh, and complete and clear and organized report of the robot design process. So when you do this uh, design award uh, discussion, you will not look at the uh, the performance scores. 
So only based on your uh, engineering and uh, interval rubric numbers. But make sure this team is also student-centered and can demonstrate very good sportsmanship and professionalism. So, so in general, the design award, uh, the design award will not look at the performance score. Only excellence awards will ch will check the performance score. Okay, so the the rest of, uh, awards are some judged awards. And also we have a award scoring and ranking sheet for every team, uh, for the, for all the judges to, to do their ranking. And all these uh, rubrics are actually in the judge, judge guide. Uh, I can share the judge guide after this training. Um, so uh, let's just take a quick look for all these judged awards. The Innovate Awards is pre presented to a team with the most effective and efficient design process, the top tender for the design award. So the, normally they should have, they should at least have a, a very have a good engineering notebook and demonstrate all this uh, time, time management talent materials and all the students can show or explain their whole uh, design process. And then the SYNC award. The SYNC award um, normally will give to the students, to, to the teams who have very good programming uh, skills. And the AMAZE award uh, to give to the team to uh, who can build the robot with very High uh, can, uh, with very high uh, scoring capabilities and comp uh, and can show the very good uh, design process. And the build awards give to the team who can bu build a very a good or very strong robot. And the creator award give to the team who can demonstrate a very creative engineering design solution. And the judges award, just uh, normally we give this judge, judges awards to a team that um, can de deserving some special recognize, recognition. Uh, the, ener the energy awards to give the teams to show uh, the ex uh, excitement at the, big, at the event. And of course, we still have some uh, other judge awards like Inspire Sportsmanship Awards. That's very easy for uh, our judges to give because uh, all these teams are just showing their professionalism during the competition not only uh, the uh, during the interview but also in the whole competition okay that's for the, all these awards so the last part for us for this session is do's and don'ts for the judging process so during the judging you, all the judges should make sure all the team, the teams who received the judge awards are student centers. This is always our guideline for the judging process. And all the students uh, can show the pos uh, positively engagement and make sure uh, all the judges will identify the teams and can show the uh, the whole process can show their um, very good learning and also with very uh, limited adult effect. And what the, 
What's the don'ts for all the judges? Make sure you have no conflict of interest with every with the teams. If you do have some teams competing in the competition, just tell just tell just tell to the just tell the uh, judge or advisor and uh, do not discuss your team with the, with uh, during the judging process, and let the other judges to do interview. Or discussion uh, with your uh, or discussion with your team, and do not ask any personal questions during the uh, interview. And make sure all these judging materials are uh, confidential. You should not talk with the teams or uh, the other. Uh, coaches or uh, event partner before the awarding ceremony, and also when you do some when you do interview or uh, discussion with the teams, to show the, your uh, your engagement and uh, show your kindness to all the friend, to all the students. And make sure uh, we don't give more than one judge awards to the same team or the same or the teams from the same organization, because we would like the uh, to in, we would like to encourage more students or more uh, organizations. And also make sure the event partner should not input. Some information into the judging process. Okay, uh, I think that's all for this session for my presentation. So, any more questions? Yes, I do um, have a question. Like in this um, tournament we hosted this September, um, actually, mm -hmm. we don't have all the awards as you mentioned earlier for the judges. Uh, like mm -hmm. is that okay, or do we need to cover all the awards? Uh, it's okay, uh, but at least you need to provide some uh, standard awards, like excellence award, uh, teamwork champion, a design award, judges award, and if you do provide robot skills challenge, uh, you can provide a robot skills champion. So that's five uh, awards or the standard awards. Yes, yes, we do. We do have that. Also yeah. regarding the, um, how do I say, the certificates, I, I think you have kind of the um, certificates or the the presents uh, you give to the winning teams. Um, do we need to order them or it's okay we can use our own? Uh, it's okay. You can you can design your own. Uh, and also in the uh, software, in the event management software, uh, we do have some uh, award format. If you want, would like to use that, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, if you are if you will uh, post the events on the REC website. And to make to make the event as a official recognized by the REC, uh, we can provide one free set of trophy pack. So in the trophy pack, we uh, it will include uh, I can't remember clearly uh, five or six trophies with the award place. So like uh, one excellence award, two champions and one design, one judge, and one robot skills champion. So yeah, actually it's six trophies. Okay, thank you. I think it will be, uh, it will be applied to our next year tournament. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, it's just like kind of practice tournament. So um, mm -hmm. we will design that on our own. I also yeah. registered our event. Um, it's another topic, but uh, I registered the event on the website, but unfortunately, because it passed the deadline, so it seems that the event is not going through the, um, like, 
the qualification or something from your website so it's not posted publicly yet mm, just to forward the uh, event code event code to me and i can check with you i can check for you um yes. if you do I, I think maybe i didn't see it i i can't i don't remember i saw it yeah i, I just want to keep that on your website for the record um mm -hmm. even if it's not official but i still want to keep them there so if some when people searching for the vex iq competition in vietnam at least they can see something there so that's our purpose okay. yeah you you can you can when you post it you can uh, choose the event type as a uh, as scrimmage yes so yes, that's what i did as a scrimmage you don't need to upload the results you don't need to mm -hmm. register the teams just yes. to post the information on the website yes okay thank you so much i appreciate it. okay okay so uh any more I think that's I think that's enough yeah. you know, from for us all because, we have. yeah because <laughs> like it is uh the original time and mm -hmm. yeah and we're so sorry for coming to the meeting late and waste like with your time so but thank you for your presentation today and your prayer advice no problem uh, uh let me share the judge guide after this uh, this discussion, uh, I say, I know uh, it's very hard for you to start at the beginning because uh, always the VEX competition is a little bit complex uh, compared with the others. So uh, you you will need to to spend more time to uh, to learn or to study the whole process. Um, so feel free to give me uh, any email or give me a call uh, for any questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you a lot, uh, Crystal, okay. and and uh, also Andy. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, on behalf of the Steam of Vietnam team, I'm I'm, I'm very grateful because um, we are just like babies taking these uh, baby steps, uh, learning from from you all. Right. Um, it's always a bit nervous doing something. Uh, first time ever um, but I mm -hmm. think we are getting there uh, and and the the demand in Vietnam is uh, is, is overwhelming it's crazy uh, we uh, is uh, this is about nearly four times we were prepared for uh, and but but we are trying to make it happen and uh, I, I I have a very strong belief it will happen uh, <laughs> it will be a very good uh, uh, tournament practice tournament uh, next month and uh, by uh, after lunar new year we would be ready to to host um the, the next major one the real one yeah okay. but i uh, really appreciate your help in this period yeah i think uh at this time uh because of covid we need to make two different plans so the first one is in person and the second one is online so just to make sure you have plan b <laughs> Yes. Thank you, everybody. Uh, sorry, I joined in rather late. I was listening to quite a bit of it. So thank you so much for your effort. And we can't wait to see things grow and see students compete in Vietnam. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so Andy. much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.